My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. My God, I love my job. Is this kind of not absolutely gorgeous? I don't know if we've had a Maserati here at Volo before, uh, but I'm glad we do now. The colors make this one outstanding. Don't compare this to the others. Look at the colors on this car. They're amazing. It's a 2013 Maserati GT uh, Gran Turismo Sport. It's got low miles. It's a beautiful car, Ferrari motor. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study over 100 pictures top to bottom. And that's where you find the price tags on over 200 collector and specialty cars. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. That way you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. And also, Caleb Grams, my cousin's going to join me because, like I said, I don't know these cars. He's a little more up on them than I am, so he'll describe it to you. All right, we got a 2013 Gran Turismo Sport. Guys, this car originally had a $128,000 window sticker. We're offering it for less than what it, half than what it costs new. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much when you, when you order these cars from the factory, you're going to build it specifically. The color's an option. This is a Mediterranean blue. Um, it also has upgraded 20-inch wheels on it. Um, coming around to the back, the sport exhaust. This is a dual-tone exhaust. You'll hear it at the end of the video. Yeah. It sounds awesome. The best exhaust note in the world, they claim. Uh, like that's the a $2,500 option as well. Yeah, the chrome smooth. Guys, this paint is gorgeous on it. I mean, walking around the car, you might find t a little teeny tiny rock chip, maybe. Um, other than that, this thing is in awesome shape. Um, the wheels are wrapped in Continental Super Sport tires. They got plenty of traction left on them. The calipers um, match the car. Yep, that's a painted option as well. Um, you have to pay additional for that. Drilled and slotted rotors. <laughs> Drilled and slotted rotors. Um, they are the big brake um, kit from Maserati, so that's an added option. Um, the coach body, now these, these bodies are designed by Pina Farina. It's a, a well-known Italian coach builder. Um, they build them not only for Maserati, they're known to design Ferraris. And that's where you're getting the style on this, guys. Um, that large bell mouth grille here, unmistakable, um, with the Trident logo. Maserati's been using this since really like the 1950s, I think, when they first came out. Wow. Uh, yeah. I know the car is a clean Carfax because I'm the one who ran it before yep. I bought it. Clean Carfax, no accidents, no damage reported. Uh, What's the miles? I didn't know Just over 28,000. Okay. So lightly driven. All the glass is mint, the rubber is mint. Uh, what about underneath uh, suspension, transmission? Yep. So it has the active handling tra uh, suspension in it, similar to Porsche's setup. Um, it's going to be similar to what a magnetic ride in a, a Corvette would be. Um, it's active handling, so it's going to dampen itself um, depending on the road conditions. Um, you're going to get that dual stainless steel exhaust. Um, again, it does have active valves in it, so you can open it in sport mode. It's going to give it a louder rumble, um, or you could keep it quiet just for everyday cruising. Um, it's kind of the transmission. Tran transmission. It's a six-speed German auto. Um, they're used in some Ferrari um, cars as well. Ferrari does use that same transaxle in, in their cars. So very re reliable. It's a dual clutch system. So it's not only auto, you do have, you can slide it over to the left and put it into paddle shift mode. And you have some nice giant paddles on your steering wheel um, to have some fun with. All right, why don't we open the car up and we'll take them inside. All right, guys, coming into the interior. Again, this is all custom um, options that was added from the original owner. Um, it's finished with a nice brown leather uh, package interior. This was a separate option. Um, the wood trim here, this was optional. It runs all the way across the dash. Um, it does have the quartz analog clock in here. That was an additional package. Um, 
let's see it. The car has just over 28,500 miles on it, freshly broken in. Um, this also has navigation on it. Um, you can hook up your Bluetooth um, phone to it. It's going to take calls. The, the pad here, it's a little bit old school, but it still works really nice. It's simple to use. Um, there is even a dark mode on it, so you can dim the lights on it so it's not glaring in your face at nighttime. Um, you're going to get the dual climate control here. Now guys, even on the steering wheel, like I said, it's very user friendly. Um, you can pick up phone calls, end them. You can change your volume, radio station, everything like that. Um, there is a sport mode coming on this side. Um, sport mode changes the exhaust and the transmission shift points, uh, so it's going to give you a different um, a different ride, honestly, a different experience. Um, it does have active uh, traction control in it. You can turn it on and off. Uh, there's also a button for ice that's for you know better handling in the snow. Um, there is a automatic parking brake, so instead of having to pull a lever, there's a, a button on here, um, as well as down by the shift column. Um, now to get it into paddle shift, shifting, guys, you're gonna pull back all the way on the shifter and just slide it over to the left. That's gonna activate your manual shifting. Um, you do get these giant, nice pedals on the steering wheel. You're never gonna, fall, you're never gonna uh, lose control of them. They're always gonna be right at your fingertips. You're gonna be able to find them even if you're turning the steering wheel. They're going to be there for you. So you have navigation and you said 360? Yep. 360 parking sensors. Um, so it will beep at you, it'll warn you. Obviously, with this nice of a car, guys, you don't want to get it scratched up by parking too close to something. Um, so it doesn't show it right now, but when the car is in reverse or you're slowing down, it's going to show the sensors um, up on the screen. So it'll light up showing you the distance from you and the object in front of you. <clears throat> I want to show the all the power controls. It looks like there's probably memory seats yeah, so and all the different. It does power have memory and, seats. Um, it is on both sides. And I love the blue carpet, the blue accents with the the tan. Yeah. And then I want to show the back seat. It's not a, a big Lincoln or Cadillac, but there's actually usable seats back there. You got the center console runs front to back, so you have four bucket seats. The wood grain trim is back there. Uh, and Caleb noticed there's a few places where the headliner. Uh, is drooping down a little bit. Yes, it's typical on these cars. Hardly noticeable. Door panels are mint. Why don't we go to the trunk? So what are the what are we looking at? Here? All right. So this is part of Maserati's package. Um, obviously, they're going to give you some nice stuff that goes along with it. Um, you do get a battery tender in the box here. Uh, we have a booklet with all the service manuals, stuff like that. Um, this is kind of interesting. This is a tow package kit. So it's going to have a tow hook that you can um, install in case you need to pull the car out of the ditch, or hopefully not, but mm -hmm. that is there. Um, this is the tire inflator. Never been used. That's kind of nice. You plug this right into the cigarette lighter, guys. It'll fill up the air in your tires. And that cord there is a battery tender already uh, yeah. hooked up to the battery, so you just plug it into so that. The battery is underneath. Uh, oh, there's an extra little storage compartment. That's kind of nice. All right, let's get to the good stuff. Let's check out the motor. So this is actually a V8 Motors, which has become a rarity. I don't even know who's making a V8 anymore in these foreign cars. Uh, but it is a 4.7 liter V8 with 430 horsepower. And it gets better. This is designed and built by Ferrari. This is used previously in Ferraris as well. Um, so you get the performance of a Ferrari inside a Maserati. It does have the nice bright red wrinkle valve covers on it. And then this intake manifold is exclusive to Maserati, the way they do their, their cross folds on it. Uh, and it looks immaculate in here too. This yeah. has been a well cared for car. We even have undercarriage pictures on our website. You can look how clean the bottom of this car is. You can see they really wanted to focus on the view of the engine and they put all the nice plastic engine uh, bay covers around it so yeah, you don't so your see anything goes else. right to the, the heart of it. 
This is all very easily removable, guys, and pulls right off. All right, while well, we close it up. And, uh, so I did take this car home one day. I had to. It drove amazing. Uh, it's priced far less than half of what it costs new, and as far as I'm concerned, it still practically uh, looks like a new car and performs like one. <laughs> That's our impression of this car. Go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to get in touch with Caleb. He handles the modern muscle cars. Uh, he can assist you from there answering your questions. You can get this delivered to your driveway. Right and to help the you driveway. with financing. Uh, so go to volocars.com to get a hold of Caleb and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.